Ladies and gentlemen, we are currently building an audience tonight. I don't even know what today is. What is uh, today? March uh, 19. No, March. My God, it's San Jose. May 19. Here uh, in my kitchen, Pepe C. Pepe try to do our third edition. Of course, we got Claudio Santucci playing. In the background. All right. So we're currently building this audience right now. We are going to try to keep this show under an hour. Do you think it's possible? I don't know. But I have a lot of ingredients already prepared, ready to go. I got chopped up shallots. I got mushrooms. I got these peppers, flour, garlic. You don't have to see me chop up stuff anymore. I know how to chop up stuff. I got stuff in the oven, which I'm going to explain in a second. We're going to bring on Ross, but in the meantime... In the meantime, what I'm going to kindly ask you to do is don't look at my red eye over there. And uh, everybody hit this little share button right over here. Let's bring this up over 100. Come on. You guys do that for me? Do that for me. In the meantime, we're going to bring on our celebrity chef, Ross Stefano, a.k.a. the Canacheta Cook. Bonjour. Hi. How are you? I, I just heard you say celebrity. I don't think I'm anywhere in your celebrity status, but. Uh... Let's talk about me, but one sec. One sec. We're going to have the music playing the whole time. It's going to be a little light. I want to make a comment about your shirt. I actually love it. I just wanted to let you know that. What's going on? Good. Are you ready to rock and roll? I am. I was already rocking. I'm just ready to roll, roll now. Okay. What are we doing today? Because I have no clue. So I asked you to get a whole bunch of ingredients ready. Uh, I asked you to get a mushroom, uh, a mushroom base uh, stock with uh, with chicken uh, stock as well. Because we're making tonight uh, a risotto alongside a beautiful French cut veal chop. So we're going to use a lot of mushrooms tonight. We're going to use a lot of truffle salt truffle oil. So uh, our two main herbs tonight are rosemary and thyme. These go beautifully with mushrooms. Now, whenever you're ready to go, we're going to start. I'm going to lower the music just a little bit more. All right. Okay, that's going. So I'm going to position this. Do I need to position it more near the stove right now or near the chopping stuff? No, no. I want you. We're, we're going to start turning on. So do you have, you, you have your chicken stock ready? Yeah. All right. So in here we have a chicken mushroom stock. So we have a whole bunch of mushrooms in there that have been going for three, four hours here. Okay. And then we added two cups of chicken stock to that eight cups of mushroom stock. Now, I the same thing. Here. Some mushrooms. Shishito peppers that we're going to add onto the uh, veal chop after. We have uh, about six shallots here. We have garlic. So let's start with making our risotto. Are you ready to rock and roll? Pay attention. Yeah. We're going to move fast tonight. I'm ready. Okay, I'm not. What are you, what are you doing? All right. Put your pan on. Get your, get your motor running. I'm going, I'm going. This pressure. I'm trying to keep it under an hour. All right. Which pan? The pan, not the. Which pan? This is the risotto pan. What does that mean? Do you want the one that's uh, cast iron or the other one? The other one. The, the, one, okay. the one that's cast iron we're going to use for the veal chop. Got it. All right. You can, actually, you can actually start both of them. Okay? Am I putting in oil? Sorry, you put in oil, about four, about three to four tablespoons, and then we're gonna add some butter to this. Any of the oliva stuff? Olitalia? What's that? Any of the Olitalia oils? 
You know what? You can use the regular Old Italia one, okay? What's that mean? They're all near label. Just this one here. Just normal olive oil. That's it. Okay, normal olive oil. I've got my own. Right. All right. Here. I want you, I actually want you to start oh, both pans. The iron the iron skillet one and this one here. Okay? Yeah. All right. So we're gonna add the garlic to the risotto pan, okay? We're also gonna add a little bit of the shallots. Like what's a little bit? Uh, half, half, of what, half of what you cut, okay? Half of what I chopped up? What's that? Half of what I chopped up? Correct. Now, on, in the other pan, okay, I want you to add the mushrooms that we're gonna use for the risotto, the finely chopped ones, the instructions I gave you. We're gonna add them here, okay? Yeah. But the garlic, half of the garlic in the first one, right? The garlic in the first one, that's right. We're going to get the water out of these mushrooms on this side here. Sorry, and then those mushrooms that were chopped up, all of them, right? No, not all of them. Sorry, ah. not all of them. All of them. The finely oh, chopped ones, yes. Pepe, how are we doing? I'm, uh, I, got, I got mushrooms going. All right, that's good. You look good. You're looking good. I can see what you're doing. Looking good. Now, we're going to add the two cups of arborio rice here from Aurora here. Ready? Oh, you can I didn't even measure yet. Hold on. Two cups. We're going to mix that up with the mushrooms and the shallots here. What we're doing is we're toasting. We're toasting the rice. Okay, because we don't want it to become like mush, so we're roasting it. That's going in with the, which one? What's that? Is the rice one going in the onions or in the, in the mushrooms? In this one here. No, so speak the, words. Where the garlic and the, and the shallots are. Where the shallots are, not where the mushrooms are. Correct. The mushrooms we're going to leave alone. Actually, when you got them browned, I want you to turn it off. Okay. And how, and how many cups of the rice? Uh, one and a half to two cups. We're going to. Got to feed the kids. Is the rice, let me know when you got the rice in. The rice is in. It's, it's dry, eh? Okay, look at it. You see how it's toasting? This is what you want to do so you don't get mush. You're toasting the rice. Now, to this, we're going to do one thing. We're going to add a few drops of truffle oil. In your package today, I gave you some truffle oil. You need to yes. be careful with truffle oil because it's too much, too much. That's it. It's very powerful. Should be turning these, too. Okay, I want you to I want you to turn your mushrooms off after they're toasted. What? Turn the mushrooms off once they get lightly browned. Okay. And I'm adding the oil, the truffle oil to the rice. A few drops, yes. Like maybe 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 a quarter teaspoon. First thing we want to do, the first liquid we add to our mushroom risotto is our white wine or Prosecco. Hold on. It's turning brown, but it's, uh, it's kind of turning brown. Sorry. I've never toasted rice before. Well, Pepe, very, 
important. We're going to put our risotto to, between low and medium, okay? I want you to add the mushrooms now. All right, Pepe? The mushrooms? I'm putting a little bit of oil. Add take, them, take the mushrooms and add them to the risotto. Did you add the shampoo? I mean, did you add the prosecco already? No. Sorry? Did you add the prosecco already? Yes, yes. Okay, hold on. I got a Prosecco this time, no, no Spumante Bambino. All right. We're graduating. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I broke the cork. What's that? I broke the cork, one sec. Uh, hold on, how, how come it didn't, uh... did you open that Prosecco yet? Well, the problem is that I'm having a little trouble. Okay. See, now, back to uh, the normal nothing went Okay, so the mushrooms are going to add. No, how much Prosecco? I want you to add about half a cup. How are we doing? Uh, All right. You have to lower the rice. Yeah, rice between mm -hmm. low to medium. And I add the mushrooms. When when you add the mushrooms, give it a little bit of salt, not too much because we're gonna keep adding we're gonna keep adding stock. But I I wanna I wanna give the rice a little bit of salt. That's the heaviest pan alive. How are we doing? Where are we? Almost lost an arm. Okay, you We're good. Hold on. So, the rice. now I have the, the mushrooms. Did you say something about adding salt? Yeah, we're going to add a little bit of salt. Then Normal we're gonna salt? Take, we're going to take about a half of the butter. And we're oh. going to add it. Forgot to take out the butter. One second. Forgot to take out the butter. You guys just look at my stove. La, 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 la. So we forgot to take out the butter. Second here. We're good. We're good. I got the butter. We're good. Just... I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. But, How are we doing? How are we doing? How are we doing well, on time? Sorry, besides the... What salt did you put? The regular salt or the one you gave me? Regular salt. Regular salt for now. How much? Give it a... Give, not, not even a... Just a little pinch of salt. Okay. So I'm about ready to add, my, I gotta start adding my stock, okay? So I'm gonna add. Hold on, you added all the butter. What's that? Whatever, I don't even know how much you put in there, but I put. We're gonna add a little bit, of, a few ladles of the stock. Okay, hold on. Two ladles of the stock, right? Yeah, you, you look, Pepe. You you want? I, I don't know how big your pan is, but you want to just just so it's a little bit covered like this. We don't want to swamp it, okay? With too much because we're not making soup. We just want enough. The whole point here is for the risotto, the rice, to grab to grab the the liquid and start growing along, okay? Slowly, okay? Okay, so a little. A few ladles, okay? Okay. A couple of ladles. 
But am I adding the mushrooms or just the liquid? No, no. Well, it doesn't really matter. And it's, it's good if you add it, whatever. That, that's why they're there. It doesn't matter. So for, the, for those who are just tuning in now, that uh, stock already was uh, pre-boiling from earlier. It had, uh, it's a chicken stock, a couple of bouillons, and the mushrooms. I, I started preparing that two hours earlier as per instructions. I let it boil and then I covered it. It has to stay. You told me something about the about it staying warm. Yeah, so this has to stay. This has got to be a little bit warm, right? We don't want to add cold liquid to it because then we're reducing the heat on the risotto. Okay, let me know when you're ready because we, we got to take a, a quick step here and do something else. Okay, that's like the stock is, uh, the rice has absorbed a lot of the liquid. There's no, it's not really liquid in there. Do I add a little bit more stock maybe? Okay, listen to me then. I want you to add a, a few more ladles to yours, okay? My ladles are big. Okay, look, look at what I have here. In the meantime, I want you to go back to the iron skillet, this one here. I want you to turn it on, okay? Because now we're gonna start frying our veal chop. Okay, but I'm adding a few ladles in the meantime. Fun fact, don't leave the spoon on the thing because when you grab it, you burn your hands. Just want to let everybody know that. Okay, Pepe. Yeah. I asked you to. I asked you to have flour ready. We're gonna flour the veal chop. We're gonna flour the veal chop before we fry it. Okay. Okay. All right. So grab your veal chop out of the marinade. Salt the flour, both sides, and put it in the pan with butter and olive oil. Any olive oil. But in the pan, which is heating up right now. Uh, okay, let me get the, the thing first. Okay, guys, in a in a Ziploc bag, I have here the veal chop with uh, a cream just to cover it, and uh, rosemary chopped up. And a little bit of truffle oil. We had that prepared about a couple hours ago as well, and that's been marinating in the fridge. And now I'm going to put that in the flour. But in the pan, I'm putting oil. Yeah, you put olive oil and a little bit of butter there, like I showed you. Then you're taking this, the rosemary, the whole branch, and a branch of the thyme, and we're going to drop it in. Okay, you know what? I'm going to the meat over here. Is that right? Let me cover this. In the meantime, keep an eye on the right. I am. Well done. I have, once again, because I kind of moved from the pan, we're going to swap now. Okay, Pepe, watch this. You ready? Yeah, but what's in the pan right now? In the pan, you have butter, olive oil, rosemary, and, and the thyme, and the, uh, the leaf of thyme, okay? We're gonna, I'm, fl I'm flouring the veal chop right here. And I'm going to add it to the iron skillet, just like that. With the rosemary, did you put it in straight? No, you put some leaves, right? Right, exactly. We're going to make this a nice. Putting rosemary. The time, do I dig it up or do I just put it in? What's that? The time. Do I put it in straight? Yes, yes. Salt that. Salt your veal chop. Mine's making a noise. Hey, Pepe. 
I want I want you to put your oven at. Remember your oven at 350. Yeah, my oven's heating up. So I've uh, coated both sides nice. Well, always, always keep an eye on the risotto, please. If it needs additional, if it, if, if you could start seeing the kernels come above the water, you want to add a few more ladles or a ladle, depending on how big it is. We're gonna add the ladle. I didn't realize this was so fast paced. Right. Pepe, how are we doing there? Hey, Pepe. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm, uh, I'm okay. Okay. Remember, you got you got your veal chop frying yet? Did you do both? Did you flip it already? Yeah, I flipped it. Okay. Okay. What I want you to do when you flip it, take I gave you truffle salt in the package. Take a little bit of truffle salt, a pinch of it, and do this right on the veal chop. All right. This is truffle salt. What I makes it truffle salt? Add a little bit of black pepper to that. What makes it truffle salt? So it's got it's sea salt, okay, and it has an entire black truffle chopped up inside. Okay. Just checking. Is your oven on? Yeah. You got aluminum foil ready to tent the uh, veal chop? What? You, you have aluminum foil out. Just, just if you got aluminum foil, I'll explain in a minute what we're gonna do. I got it. Okay. Remember, Great. watch your rice. Rice is good. I'm turning it. What? I'm uh, like, I'm um, you know, stirring and that. All right, again, I'm not gonna tell you when you're gonna need more fluid. You should know. We don't wanna burn the veal chop. You see what I'm doing here? I'm tipping the pan over a little bit, and I'm spooning the essence of the oil, the butter, with the thyme and the rosemary sauce right over it. Mm -hmm. Look at that beautiful thing. Hold on, let me do the thing. It's starting to smoke. I got time for a drink. Salute. How are we doing over there? Uh, some of my rice landed in the pan, but I don't have it. A little bit. Okay. Now? So at this point, you got your you got your veal chop frying. Did you do Did you do the, the spoon full on top? Did, you, did I show you how to do that? I did. Do it again. I just did. This is called This is called basting our veal chop. Get a close up of that baby. I, uh, I'm going to lose this finger today. Today is the day that I lose this finger. Pepe. Can you hear me? Me 
Make sure to always taste your rice for salt, for everything. I don't know how to do what you're doing. Okay. How are we doing on time, Pepe? Um, good question. In about five minutes, we're going to hit the half an hour mark. All right, good. I changed the What? How's your rice? Uh, it's nice. Yeah. We're going to drizzle some olive some of this truffle oil another te teaspoon like that. That's it. Into the into the risotto. The truffle oil. Yeah. This is uh truffle oil. Okay. You see get a close up of this. You see how it's not because it's not much. It's a nice form here, the rice. You can still see it's forming. Right there. See how beautiful it is? Gorgeous. It looks the same. Good. All right. What we're gonna do now? Uh, we're gonna. Do you have? Uh, we're, actually, I'm gonna add some more uh, stock to mine. You're putting more again? Well, yeah. It, it depends on how fast it dries up. Grab some black pepper. Put it inside. Again, this is for your liking. I like black pepper in my risotto. In the meantime, if everybody can hit that little share button, that would be really cool. Let's get this over 100. I feel like my grill chop is like burning. What's that? I don't know. I feel like the grill chop is burning. Burning? It shouldn't be burning. You're, you're, you're just browning it. Burning, but... Okay, Pepe, we want to grab our Reggiano Parmigiano, and we want to grate about half a cup in here. I, uh, I pre-grated. Beautiful. How much? But a half a cup? Yeah, because we're going to add, you know what, give it, uh, give it a quarter cup. We're going to add another quarter cup after to finish it off. Try not to add more liquid into it until the Reggiano Parmigiano is mixed in. Now, you have some uh, rosemary cut up already? Cut up? No. Okay, I need, I need some rosemary in here. Just a, a, few, a few pinches of fresh rosemary. I can put the whole leaf in, right? What's that? I can put the whole leaf, like, I can just, you're chopping, you're chopping, so you're chopping. Like that, see? Yeah. Okay, I want you to, I want you to taste your risotto. I'm 
are we doing? I'm uh, stirring. Can I add a little bit more liquid if I think it's too dry? You're going to be adding less less liquid because now we're starting to get the risotto forming into what it should be. So you're, you're going to put less and less liquid. Now, I want you to turn off the iron skillet. I want you to wrap it up loosely in aluminum foil, put it on a pan, and throw it in your oven. It's going to be there for five minutes. I'm going to put mine indirectly in my barbecue because I have no oven outside. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Back up. You want me to put... Okay, that's my alarm. Uh, set time of 15 minutes. Okay. You want me to put the skillet... You're watching the pan. Okay, you're taking a pan. Okay, you watching me? Hold on. No. Let me know when you're watching me. Okay. I have a... So I'm not putting the thing right into the oven, the skillet? Oh, you know what? Yeah, exactly. You could do it. No, no, but no, but you, you have to. Yeah, or, or just do that. If you have something to put it on like that and you want to tent it, what tenting it does, all the juices, instead of just pouring out when you cut it, it's all going to have them go back into the meat normally. Okay? That's a, a, that's a loose tent. Okay? Okay, but you put it on a different pan. I can put it, I'm going to put it on a different pan. I'm going to do it here. So I got to do this. You're taking a real chop. You're putting it right in the thing. Pepe. Yeah. Okay. So did you put it in this? You know what? Uh, I, I'm going to need your iron skillet. We're, we have to do the peppers and the rest of the shallots. Okay. So keep it on. Well, basically, I put it, I put it, I covered it, but I left a little opening. Fantastic. Let's go. We got to rock and roll now. This is, this is where it all comes together. So I'm going to put that in the oven. This is where it all comes together. So let's hurry up. That's in the oven. By the way, my oven doesn't work too well, but whatever, we'll go with it. Okay. Make sure first of all, make sure this is back on. The iron skillet. I don't think you turn it up. Okay. Get your shallots, the remainder of them. Hold on. Get the mushrooms. Shallots. The remainder of the shallots. Get the peppers, the shishito peppers. Olive oil. What about the garlic? The garlic? There's no garlic in there. No, I had garlic from before. The garlic went, went, went into the risotto. Hold on. I put the shallots. The big mushrooms, right? What's that? The big mushrooms. Yeah, they go, they go in here. All of them, right? We we'll put all those peppers. Peppers in there as well. Let's go. Truffle sea salt. You got any more butter there? I got lots. All right. I want you to add more thyme chopped up and more uh, rosemary. What? Wait, I didn't hear what you said. I want you to get more rosemary and more thyme. You might as well cut a little extra because we're going to garnish the risotto after. 
Okay, but did you put butter in there? I'm gonna add it in just a few minutes. I, I'm gonna add it right now, actually. Nice. I want you to get a good burn on this. Oh, it's burning. Well, not that. I, I, mean, I mean a good brown. Listen, watch your risotto. It shouldn't be watery, and it shouldn't be mush. Ninety percent ready. Add your butter. Add the butter. No, it's not gonna add the rosemary. That smells amazing. Get your prosecco ready. You got your prosecco ready? Added salt? Yeah, truffle salt. Uh, about two pinches of it. How are we doing over there? Um, okay. Lots of mushroom. Did you, uh, did you add Prosecco? No. No? No, I'm doing that. And then I'm going to add a little bit of cream. Okay. Did you add the cream? Cheese? I want you to add the cream to the mushroom, pepper, and shallot mixture. How much? A, about a quarter cup. I want you to turn this off. Turn it off. Are we ready to plate? Plate? Okay, how are we doing there? Where are we? Talk to me. I got rice. Uh, I haven't even tried it yet. So this is. How are we doing there? I'm. Uh, I've been in a better situation, but uh, overall, we're okay. 
You with me there? Mm hmm Okay, watch this. I shut off my rice. I want you to put the veal chop inside of the iron skillet, but it should be off. My fire alarm's going off. Blue and pink. How are we doing there? Uh, the fire alarm is off. Okay, so I want no, you to put, burn. just the way I did here. See the veal chop? No, I left. I left. I went to go shut up the fire alarm. Okay, watch. watch. See this? Put the yeah. veal chop back in the iron skillet like this. So you, uh, you took it out of the oven. I put it right on here. Spent. Get it, give him a close-up of this. Ooh, okay. So I took that out. I put uh you put the, the thing right back on the skillet. Oh nice. Oh, those juices. Put the juices back in. Right there. Oh, I don't even care. I do my own thing. Okay, hold on. Come on. You know what? We're going to make it. We have 11 more minutes. Yes. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. What are we making? We made it already. Did you mix, did you mix the, the stuff on top of the veal chop or you just sat it on top? That's it. Just a little bit on top, just to keep it hydrated. I don't know what to use now. Once you do that, just give it a little bit of truffle. Again, truffle. I love this stuff. How are we doing? Good. Okay. Are you ready to plate? Watch, watch the way I plate first. Hold on. Let me make some space. Let me get my plate. Okay. Uh, plate. My wife's loving this. We're taking out the good plates. Okay. So what are we starting with? Okay, watch me. Oh, sorry, you mm -hmm. know what? I did something while you weren't looking. I want you to add some more Reggiano Parmigiano to this. And mix it? Just like this. I, I, I want you to fold it, not mix it. I want you to fold it in. Fold it. Now, Pepe. You see how everything stayed together? It's not mush, okay? Uh, yeah, totally. We're gonna plate. A nice healthy serving. We're gonna add some more thyme and rosemary over the dish. The 
Did you put any of that mushroom stuff on top? Yes. All right. Actually, I got another one. Here. So we're gonna put this right on top. And we kept it under an hour. And you know what? We made a pretty, uh, pretty uh, delicate dish. Well done. I'm putting some of the thyme on top. Yes, just like that. Just like what? Just like this. A little bit over. Just like that. And a little bit of the rosemary. Yep. And then we drizzled a little bit of truffle oil on top. I love that. So, on top again. You got it? You good? Hold on. So, I take the plate. This is uh, my creation here. Beautiful. So, audience, are we good? Look the same? In and around the same? Yours, uh, what do you have on the side of the, I oh, put, you put some, you put it on the side. The mushrooms. I put the mushrooms on top of the meat. Outstanding. Hold on, I'm gonna do this. Now. For presentation purposes, we're going to wipe with a little paper towel there. Nice. Look at that. Beautiful. Medium rare, the way I like it. I think mine came out good too, man. Oh, you're eating already. Oh, I see what's going on here. Hold on. Rosemary. Call my wife over. Babe. Somebody get some screenshots and send them over. Screenshot, screenshot. That is perfect risotto. You guys doing screenshots? Pepe. Salud. Hold on, let me get some wine. All right, you gotta have your wine ready. That was in the prerequisites as well. I've been drinking the whole time, buddy. Rosemary! And I think you're going to have the recipe up on uh, your YouTube channel or Instagram? Yes. Sorry, I'm going to be uploading all of them soon. Give me one second. Call my wife. Cheers. Cheers. I want to thank everybody for joining me and uh, Pepe this evening. Great dish. Again, you want the recipe, you can find it on Giuseppe's uh, channel or just message me directly. Yeah, when, uh, eventually when I say I'm going to do something and load it, I'm gonna, we're going to put the actual recipe right on the... Uh, right on the... Um, you too. Mm. Hold on, my wife's here. I'm just going to take a couple pictures. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Really appreciate everyone taking uh, an hour out and uh, trying it out. In an hour, amazing. Hold on. All the first hotel? Yeah, those alarms are very sensitive. Those peppers, by the way, I didn't even ask you, are they spicy? They're mo moderately spiced. They're not spiced too much. They give a, a nice, they give a nice warm heat. You don't want, you, this dish is very delicate. You don't want any hot spice in it. Oh my God, this is the best. 
Oh. Oh man. Now I gotta try the rice. It's not hot at all. Oh man, guys. Russ, respectfully speaking to everything else we made, this is top. And next week we're gonna top it again. Next week we're gonna be very busy. And no if shot. I, you, I would get your I would get your barbecue shined mm -hmm. up because next week we're gonna start grilling. What's in there? You know what's beautiful about the veal chop? The pepper. The fat is just absorbed everything. Oh, this is too much, man. Thank you. I oh. My wife asked what I burned. I'm glad she came running upstairs when the fire alarm went off. No, I'm not. <laughs> Uh -huh. Everybody watching, salute and have a great Wednesday night. Cheers. All right, guys. So what do we call this before we tune out? This is called the lamb chop and risotto. I like an a truffle. I don't know. I would ever. Yeah, this is clearly your invention. I've never heard of this in my life. No, it clearly is. You know what? Everybody, everybody has different dishes, right? You're always going to put your spin on everything, right? So... Here we are. Different spin on everything, right? Fantastic. Cheers, I want to thank, thank you. We love you so much. Well done. Let's get some music on the way out. I want to thank... Um... I want, you know what? I want to thank uh, Aurora for the, for, the, uh, for the rice. I want to thank Leone Fine Foods for the beautiful veal chop tonight. That's right. Leone Fine Foods. Thanks, Paul. Fantastic veal chop. Aurora Rice, the old Italian oils. And I want to thank you, Ross. Uh, I am uh, I'm actually learning something here. I didn't expect. I just thought I was going to make. I've been learning. I'm, like, excited to prepare this for my family. Um, and believe it or not, after it's cooked, it's really not that hard. I'm always panicking, like there's a lot of stuff, what do I gotta do? And then it's like, eh, it's okay. And now you know how to do it, right? Yeah, if not, I just go back to the video. Exactly. So, you know what? Uh, the first time, you did great. I didn't taste it, but I'm sure in a few weeks, uh, hopefully this COVID's gonna be over soon, you can be in the kitchen with me. Yeah, that'll be fun. All right, That's everybody. Be a lot of fun. Thank you. All right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. We actually kept it under an hour. Can't believe it. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this was Pepe C. Pepe Tradidu with Chef Ross Di Stefano, a.k.a. Canuchetta Cook. Give him a follow. And stay tuned because I'm going to be posting all these up on YouTube. See you next week. Ciao for now.